Hi everyone, welcome. We're here to have fun, but remember, make sure that you're healthy enough to participate in vigorous exercise before starting this workout. This video is licensed for personal use only. This is Spinertainment Mountain Bike Spin Videos. Here's our workout for today. Uh, we will be riding a trail called the Ribbon and focusing on our threshold zones and uh, pacing through the workout. This workout is brought to you by Toei Adventure Toe Bungee, where it brings you and the riders closer together so you can experience the adventure together and everybody's happier. This is uh, my Ride From Home series. So we are starting from my house and heading to the ribbon from there. This is our heads up display. As you can see, that is our level. We are currently at level two. That's the time we have left in that level. Our position right now is currently warming up and our cadence is at a nice easy 70 RPMs at the moment. That is our total time bar. You can see where we are at in the workout, what we have left, and down below is all the details that's coming up next. Uh, there you can see Jeff, who will be riding with today. These are our levels one through 10, and one being the easiest, 10 being the hardest, and five being threshold, a pace you can hold for a long amount of time. Everything below, is easier, everything above is something you cannot maintain. Uh, I'm really excited for today. I have a great workout for you guys. And uh, we're riding one of the most unique trails in Grand Junction called the Ribbon. And now we're going to put our cadence up to 115. That's a high cadence to get those legs moving. We're gonna hold it here for a minute. We are about to enter into the Lunch Loops parking lot. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> the mountain bike community here is pretty close, so we always see people we know in the parking lot. Nice work. Let's hold this cadence for 10 more seconds. All right. Let's bring it down to a 70. So as I was saying before, we were riding the ribbon. And uh, what I like about this trail is that it's unlike anything else I've ever ridden. It's 1,500 feet of descent on these giant um, rock slabs. And there's some technical features throughout it. And it's just a really fun trail. The most popular way to ride it is um, by shuttling and starting from the top, but today we are going to ride up to the ribbon. Half the adventure will be getting there. And that's why we're working on threshold. We're gonna pace our way all the way up to the ribbon so that we have our energy left to descend it. So we're gonna start our workout in 40 seconds. And what we're gonna do is kinda of go in and out of the threshold. We're gonna start at level five, which is our threshold, the level we can manage for an hour. And then we're gonna go down to four, back it off a tiny bit, and then bring it to six, where we'll be just above threshold, back down to four, and then again at level five. All right, take a deep breath. Shake it out, let's get ready. All right, it's go time in two, one. Woo, 
All right. Get in the zone here. My threshold heart rate is about 175. So my goal by the end of this three minutes is to get a rat right around 170 to 175, somewhere in that range. It'll feel pretty challenging. We are on a trail called Pedicus. It's a fun, uh, chunky, techy uphill section. One of the most popular ways to get up um, in the lunch loops. All right, let's just do a form check really quick. Relax your shoulders, relax your hands, and really focus a nice, smooth pedal strokes here in this threshold zone. All right, good, my heart rate's climbing. I'm at about 162 right now. Good. in this workout if you don't have a cadence meter that's totally fine just pedal to the beat of the music all right my heart rate is at threshold now 175 let's hold it for another 45 seconds if you don't have a heart rate monitor that's fine too you just got to gauge it by feel so about a scale one through ten level five being right there in the middle it's a fun little technical rock section right there Let's bring it down a little bit. If you're going by gears, maybe bring it down one gear. Bringing down our cadence a little bit to 85. Still a challenging pace, but not as challenging as our level five. I would consider our zones four, five, and six all right about threshold. Five being threshold, four being like sub threshold, and then six being just above. So my heart rate here is dropping to about 165. And now we're gonna go ahead and peak just above our threshold and give you a break from sitting. Here we go, let's stand. Two minutes. Find that rhythm, 70 RPMs. Nice flat back here, working our glutes. Doing great. This is a challenging pace. Your heart rate should get high. My heart rate is getting above 175 now. Nice work.
hold this for just 40 seconds and then we get to bring it back down. Keep going. I know this feels painful. Last push. Whew. And three, two, one. Back down. Back to four. Let that heart rate drop just below threshold. And this level four is a great time to hydrate. It's very important, especially this early on in the workout. Make sure you're keeping up on it. Once you get behind, it's impossible to catch back up. Thank you. And three, two, one. Find that level five. Nice and smooth. So with this workout, we're gonna be doing a lot of climbing in the beginning to get all the way up there. It's a long ways up but it's gonna be worth it. The descent is amazing, so stick with it, at least till we get to that point, so you can experience the amazing views of the ribbon. Ninety is a, somewhat of a fast cadence, so that's probably gonna feel a little challenging, but try to keep it up. Nice work. Keep it up. We're getting close to the end of Pedicus here. Should be at threshold heart rate. Let's get in the zone. We've got two more of those. We've got a nice long recovery. So really take advantage of that. 
We're gonna bring our heart rate back down to a recovery heart rate, which for me will be anything under 135. A nice slow cadence. Here we are now making our way onto the Tabwatch Trail, which will connect us to Karina. Feel free to shake it out here. Take a breather. Check out the views. Uh, Prenup is a fun little connector trail that's going to take us up to um, Little Park Road. And uh, we take Little Park Road all the way up to the ribbon. I like to focus on taking Full deep breaths during recovery. I am now in a uh, recovered heart rate. focus back to this next big block. So remember, just like our first one, we want to be nice and smooth and pace ourselves through it. We're not going to get our heart rates right up the threshold right away. Let's let it climb slowly up there. Here we go in one second and back up three minutes. Get that cadence nice and high. I really like prenup too because you're riding right on the edge of the valley and it's really pretty. It's fun obstacles throughout. into the beat of the music. Doing great. Halfway through. Just a minute left here. Hold on. We're getting close and then we got a four. Come on.
down, maybe one gear down. Here we go. Our, our heart rate's gonna drop just a little bit. Park Road now. And here we go for level six. In two, one. All right. Let's hold this for two minutes. Come on now. You can do it. Really focus on that lower body here. Your upper body is going to move a little bit, but for the most part, we want to try and make those movements quiet. Really utilize our core and our glutes. All right, come on. So from here, we've got about a 20, 30 minute climb to the ribbon, but we're gonna go ahead and cut that section a little bit so we can get to the fun stuff a little sooner. All right, my heart rate is above threshold now, above 177. Keep pushing those pedals, come on. seconds. Let's get there. And three, two, one. Again, level four. I know these are long efforts, but we got a nice looking recovery coming up soon. Up the road. I do love climbing this road. Lots of beautiful views. It's a great place to do workouts on. All right, back to level five in two, one. Bring the cadence up. Keep it up now. We're way over halfway done with our threshold part of the workout. Just hold it 
right there. Just keep those pedals moving. Move into the beat. Stay focused. Especially on this last two minutes. Just keep doing what you're doing and you're doing great. Hold it. There we go. Woo! You are awesome. It'll all be worth it, I promise. 90 seconds. Final stretch. Keep it up. Let's get up this climb together now. I'm right there with you. Here is the trailhead for the ribbon. We've made it to the top. Just give it another 10 second push. Come on. And three, two, one. Woo! Great effort. Looking strong. Let's just do that one more time. We have now made it to the trail that's leading us to those slab rocks of the ribbon. We're gonna do one more threshold chunk on the ribbon and then we'll get into some uh, high speed sitting, standing efforts. So do what you need to do here. Let's get fully recovered. <laughs> We're about to have some fun now. They do a race called the Grand Enduro down the ribbon and uh, people will get crazy fast times down the slab. It is pretty fun to take at high speeds. You just gotta watch out for the occasional pothole and make sure that you're staying on route because if you accidentally veer off, you might be leading yourself off a cliff. So you need to keep your eyes up and be careful. Make sure you know where you're going. And you'll see right here, we're entering one of the most infamous sections called the toilet bowl because it's shaped like a toilet bowl. You'll see here in a second. We're gonna take two different lines. Taking the bottom, it's gonna meet me from the top over here. Woo! It's one of my favorite sections. It can get a little scary on the line that I took because you're riding on a rock side wall where you could possibly hit a pedal on the rock. So you have to be careful. Right now. It's awesome. Something's now changed. I couldn't stop and say enough. Again, the views up here are so amazing. Let's start to bring that focus back a little bit. 
Got one more threshold chunk. Do your best to stay on top of that cadence. This one's gonna feel a little harder than the first two, but it's our last one. And here we go, level five. Drop move here.
that cadence up. Come on. All the way through this effort. We're about halfway. You can do it. as well as push down. All right, just 30 seconds to go. I know level four can feel somewhat challenging at first, but as your heart rate drops, it begins to feel easier. So give yourself time. Don't let it drop right away. This three minutes. Last big chunk. You can see the finish line. Here we go. In two, one, level five. is called the waterfall. Yeah. Very difficult move. Stoked to get through it. Whoa. Nice work. nice and smooth. Whatever you're doing right now, just keep doing it. All the way through these last two minutes. We're officially at the bottom and we're heading up Andes. It's a fun section of trail with lots of exposure, meaning lots of views. This trail is not taken as often as many of the others, but it's like a hidden gem. challenging. It's very 
very steep. Lots of little rock features you need to get through. If you put a foot down, it's really hard to get going again. And three, two, one. Nice. You're a rock star. Whew. It is so good to focus on those threshold zones. It'll make you so strong endurance wise. You'll notice a big difference. Next, what we have coming up are 10 second sprints sandwiched, sandwiching a level seven seated for 30 seconds. So the focus is really on those 10 seconds standing, settling into a hard seated pace and finishing equally strong, actually stronger to an even higher level at the end, going all out. We're gonna do that five times. Make sure you're hydrating. Right, we got through that big climb. Now we get to do the Andes descent. It's really fun and steep as well. Depending on the time of year, it can get a little rutted out, but the day we rode it, we rode pretty nice. A little sandy. Part of the workout. It's gonna go by really fast, I promise. These efforts are under a minute long. You're gonna crush this. Whew.
this, it's hard to really gauge off of heart rate because we're not going quite long enough for our heart rates to reach certain zones in time. By the end of it, it might get pretty high, but don't worry about it right away. Just go as hard as you can. Heart rate should be in about a recovery zone by now. Go ahead and check it out. Let's get ready. Let's give this one a good effort. breath. Okay, let's get that pedal stroke back up in three, two, one. Come on. Two, one. Seated hard effort. All right, commit to this now. All out sprint. Your heart rate should be higher than the threshold. Three, two, one. Come on, push it. Two, one, woo. Spin out those legs. Three more. I love this section, it's so fast and flowy. We're getting close to the end. All right, bring your focus back, 30 seconds to go. All right, let's get some momentum into this next sprint. Bring that cadence back up. And three, two, one, come on. Two, one, back down. Hold that hard pace, come on. Just 25 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Back down. Woo. Heart rate 
get back down. Ugh. Excellent work. Getting close to the end, or to the bottom of Andy's here. And we're gonna climb back up to the main lower area. It's gonna put us out on uh, Eagle's Trail. Well, we are almost done. Let's make this next one a good quality. Just keep doing what you're doing. Right, here we are on the Eagles. Back up. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on. Two, one, and down. Push hard through this. 10 more seconds. And three, two, one. We got just one more. Whatever is left in that tank, have fun with it. Hi there. Oh. Nice and relaxed breathing. No pressure on this last one. We're just going to have fun with it now. I wow. love descending this trail. It's fun, it's flowy, and there's a lot of fun little obstacles. It's also a really fun trail to take up. It's got some very challenging sections. This is gonna connect us back into Pedicus, which is a trail we took up. All right, 15 seconds, bringing up that cadence again for the final time. And three, two, one, bring it up. Two, one, back.
back down. This is a race pace effort while seated. Right. Woo! Great job. Way to push yourself. You made it. You need to feel good about this workout you did today. That was amazing. Thank you for joining me in this adventure today. I really hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna finish off with a cool down for another two and a half minutes. Make sure you spin those legs out after that hard effort. It's important to cool down, bring that heart rate back slowly. We're just riding the goalie back to the main parking lot area. stretch after you cool down. Don't skip out on the details. <laughs> Woo! It's a fun little ramp. Woo!